Listen, I thought all in all, it was a, um, it was a good performance by, by the young guys. I, I was proud of them and the effort that they gave, the execution. Uh, we got a, we got some things we can clean up. Uh, we'll do that. But um, I just thought all in all, both sides of the ball uh, was good. I was, I was proud of uh, the defense and, and how they uh, stopped the run. And, um, and then... Uh, the communication out there, I thought, was was good on the defensive side. And then, offensively, I thought, you know, you contribute the, or you, you talk about the offensive line. I thought they all contributed uh, in the run and the pass game, and did a solid job. And the runners, receiver, I mean, you know, all, all in all, it was good. I thought our kicking game, there was good execution on that. So, for that time, yours. Yeah, uh, that's it. Just it, it's just a different feeling when you got to get ready to play a game. It's different than camp. So get yourself prepared. Kind of feel that that little burn that, that you get in there, and and uh, competitive burn, and, and uh, where you got to raise it up a notch. And so uh, and prep for you know prep for a game. So he he did all of that, and then we got him out of there. That's why you take him out of the game. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. Both Hardman and Thompson. Yeah, both of them. Just to give an opportunity to show. Brett's done a nice job of bringing these young guys in, and we want to try to give them an opportunity to uh, to play. And you know, it's it's important. It's that's that's an important thing. As you go through the preseason, that uh, you give the young guys an opportunity. So. You keep them and you don't give them to somebody else uh, when it comes down to cut down to. Coach, speaking about the opportunities uh, your defensive players, Lawrence Bowen Hill and Caleb Sonner, just talking about their coach, they got a lot of luck tonight. Yeah, well, I thought both of them uh, did a nice job. Um, I, I mean, I, I thought they played, they, they played well. I mean, all, all the way around. Um, uh, good communication on the back end, and uh, he's responsible, you know, for doing that, and. Um, and then tackled once. So, yeah. Yeah, I mean, you know, yeah, I mean, it is what it is. You know, that's. Uh, I think Tom Brady said that. It is what it is. Yeah. Yeah. Well. Yeah. Listen. Uh, um, I, I, I might have just taken a knee there, other than the kids from Kansas City. So I mean, he makes a huge run to get down there. And, um, I mean, you have to give him the ball, right? So give him an opportunity to get in. And local kid, he's a good football player. He's strong, strong lower body, good, great balance. You saw that on the big run. So he deserved it. He worked hard to get down there. So <laughs> we gave it to him. Yeah, so running backs, it's hard in, in camp because we only have a couple of days where we go live. And then you're in nine on seven, and nine on seven, everybody knows it's run. So the holes are pretty small. And, um, and then you're not being tackled. So um, getting in a game, doing it in a game uh, is important for that position. When he got in, we were able to feed him the ball, and he did a nice job uh, running. And then he had the nice catch. You know, he, he's, he's a viable receiver. So. Um, I thought all in all it was good. A couple more guys. Can you talk a little bit more about the defense? This is the first game or the first time they've actually been able to go 100%, you know, going after the quarterback and the offensive players and, you know, how well they did and the things that you said that they kind of need to work on. Yeah, so, yeah, we've got a, uh, you know, they, they got a couple little dink and dunk passes on that first drive, and then we tightened it up. And um, that was good to see. Uh, so, I mean, we go back and you, you, you don't want to start that way. You want to, you want to tighten it up right from the get-go. Um, but the more they do this, the better feel they're going to have for this defense. And then that's how you grow in it. And, and, uh, and you saw that as the game went on, they, the guys kept getting better. So um, be good tape for them to watch and learn from. Go Adam and then BJ. And do you have both play on? What are your expectations? Yeah, yeah we'll, we'll put them in the mix. Um, he's got a few years of experience. and. Um, We'll, we'll, let, we'll see how he see how he does.
The last one, BJ. The last guy I know without watching the tape, the time passing, and I can speak to his development. Yeah. Yeah. I think Tonto loves getting that hand back in the dirt. Um, and we kind of brought him in to do that. We just he, he filled a role for us at the outside backer position. I think that was good for him for his career right down the road. Uh, but actually putting his hand in the ground and, and going, you're talking about six foot six and uh, 290 pounds. And he, he, uh, he's got that length, the long arms. And he's, I can't tell you how many batted balls he's had in practice. You know, up at camp there, and, and uh, you saw it tonight. I mean, you saw, saw him pressure the quarterback, and then he did a nice job, I thought, on the run game. So he's been coming. Uh, Speaks, too. Speaks the same thing. Speaks had a good day today. So those young guys are coming, and that, that'll help us.